Very noisy today, Ornie, isn't it? Oh, you're so cute, Ornie boy. So today's a madhouse as always. Building out the front, building out the back. Oh, it's just so much going on. New kitchen, but that's not being fitted till the extension's being fitted. And because it's a really big job, it's not going to be done until like February. But then you know that's probably going to be like March. Oh, do we have to sing the song? Because he's getting it restless. You are my Oni, my baby Oni. You make me happy. So today we've got a massive Timothy Alton, this is a bad angle, massive Timothy Alton <laughs> delivery, they're literally outside. So who remembers during the first lockdown, Timothy Alton did a huge discount across all their products and it was such an amazing promotion because they weren't, you know how some brands are like, oh yeah, but that's not in the promotion, oh yeah, but the really good stuff is not in the promotion. They did everything and most companies would have said oh yeah the yeti fabric oh yeah the rex collection you know like the really amazing stuff but everything went in there so um it's a brand that paris and i work with but we are huge customers as well like we spend whenever we have like spare money to treat ourselves that is what paris and i buy we love it so much we love the whole experience it's just such a great experience when you go and pick everything um so I'm going to show you all what we ordered. We got it all in the promotion. And one of the things, it was such an extravagant purchase. But um, when we went to China, I'd already liked it. But when we went to China, God, these nails are so long. They grow so fast. So I'm doing this like once a week. I loved this chair. And I was like, oh, it's so expensive. Like, let me think about it. And then we went to China. We would have like meetings every day and chats. And I'd always sit on this chair. And I just grew so attached to it. And it was so comfortable. Like it's it's like a bed. So um, I took the plunge. The, the discount of the promotion obviously was like I couldn't miss it. Um, so I'm not teasing you. There's actually a Black Friday discount. Um, at the moment which will end in like a week and a half it's been the whole of this month I think um, okay I can only do this for a certain amount of time and he gets bored and I have to be really gentle and do it slow so if you'd like anything from Timothy Alton they are doing 40% off for Black Friday so now is your time to order if you quote Claire Chanel with your order you'll get a gift with purchase and they have actually given us a gift it looks all Christmassy. I can't wait to open it. And I bought the most amazing coffee table book. They are so beautiful. They come in three colours. I'm going to show you it. I won't. I won't describe it. But I always planned um, to have this book as like on his sketchbook. You know, like all of his footprints, his pictures, writing down like when his first laugh was. Just like a baby sketchbook, but it's like this. Thick. it's absolutely beautiful and regal and leather and luxurious it's stunning and um, I got him the white one but I love all the colors such a beautiful Christmas present or that like coffee table book or a chic way of doing a baby book oh look at his little profile I love it um so I'm going to finish doing his nails and then when the Timothy Alton people leave I will show you everything then I'm going to show you the first step of the kitchen plans <laughs> And then, don't scratch yourself, Bonnie. And then I'm going to unbox some new shoes that I got. So it's quite an interesting vlog, I think. Especially considering we're in lockdown. And then we're gonna have a few chat about, uh, some chats about um, a really good Black Friday coat that I found, like a mega one. So mega that I got Minotos for 40% off. So um, yeah, so that's what the vlog's about today. Say bye, Oni Bear. Bye, Oni Boy. Tell everyone that your hair's growing back. Okay, I'm gonna get on with this while he's still in the mood. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Okay, so whilst the baby is asleep, I'm going to show you 
some new things. So some things I've bought, some things have been given to me. Everything will always be disclaimed. Um, I'm still loving this jumper, by the way. I bought this a couple of months ago. So, I don't even know where to start. After I've showed you everything, I'm going to show you the kitchen plans. Then we're going to go downstairs and I'm going to show you all the Timothy Alton furniture that we bought. And there's a huge present down there. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's for the baby. And I wonder if I showed you the present that they gave me when, when Honoré was born. I'll show you that as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is... Um, this isn't a Black Friday code overload, by the way. This is... Gen I'm literally showing you... Um, where I have shopped so um, give discount codes that I think are amazing that I have bought something myself that's what I'm showing you it's not going to be like full of like overwhelming codes I know that it's amazing that that you can get those but I'm, anyway I'm not doing that I'm just showing you what I bought in Black Friday so one of my favorite shops ever Luisa Roma um, and actually their store in Florence is so amazing I'd love to go back there obviously not now um, but I was just browsing on Louise de Roma and I saw their discount code. So basically, Louise de Roma are doing a huge 40% off across the site, but it does exclude some brands. Um, but the brands that I wanted were 40% off. Can you imagine 40% off brand new Manolos? Um, so I was thinking, they were in my cart anyway, and this is a huge tip. I say every single year when it comes to... Um, shopping in the cell so when it comes to the summer cell the christmas cell black friday my top tip is go and put everything in your cart that you want this will mean that when for example what happened to me the flash code come up it was for 30 minutes left i didn't have to like panic and panic buy everything and it's happened to me before when the code has just vanished and i've missed out so i went straight into my cart i had three things in there i thought okay no can't really afford all of them at the moment. I'm just going to buy the ones that I've been looking at the most. And it was really easy and I feel really confident about my buy. So if I was you, I would go on all the different websites that you love. Put the things that you love in the sale. When they do do flash code or a sale, you can see, you know, none of it might be in the sale. It might be excluded. So imagine you've got three things in and one of them goes in the sale or one of them works for the code. Great you've come away with something that you originally wanted and was going to pay full price for and you've got yourself a bargain. It can go horribly wrong when you start panic buying, thinking, oh, I might as well use this amazing code and you've actually bought something you don't love. So that's my tip. I used it on myself and this is what I bought. So the pair of Manolos that I really, really want are this colour that I wanted them in Hang You See. And I can't find them in my size, so this was the next best thing. Oh wow, they are absolutely stunning. This is my dream colour. So I actually go half a size up in the in the mules because um, I just don't like that overhang. The 39 and a half had just sold out, so someone must have bought them in the flash sale. Um, but I did manage to get a 39, and it's fine because that's my true size. But that, to me, is my absolute dream, most favourite colour, like a powder blue. I would love like a like a dressing room or my main room to be like a powder blue colour with all like soft vintage furnishings. They're stunning. I'm absolutely over the moon with them. And I've got my favourite jeans on at the moment. You always ask me where they're from and it's just the same pair of jeans. So I'll link them below. Um, they're just so perfect with these kinds of shoes. So I got these for 40% off, what an absolute bargain. So it's only going to be running until the end of the month and it's not all day long. So again, top tip, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I will share them every time the code goes live. And I will say to you, 30 minutes left, 50 minutes left, I'll do a swipe up so you can go straight there. Um, so go over to Louise Viroma, put everything in your cart that you love. And then follow me on Instagram so that when I tell you the code is live, you can just swipe up and get everything that you need. But they're my amazing Black Friday purchase. And then, um, what else did I buy? I bought Honoré loads of stuff. They're in the washing machine. I'm going to show you them. They weren't Black Friday, but I'm going to show you. It's one of my favourite brands. I don't get discounted or gifted or anything. I just love that brand. Um, another brand that I love is doing 15% off which is not Black Friday, it's my personal code, CC15. But I love these earrings, and I think we're all getting so bored about this whole lockdown now. Um, not bored, we're just all mentally, it's hard to deal with. So we've gone through loving the loungewear, 
which I'll always love loungewear. But I think we're all wanting to somehow make an effort some days. Like some days I fully make an effort. Leather trousers. I've got this new leather trench that I'm obsessed with. And I literally went for a walk wearing it and I loved it. I had a big roll neck on. Um, we're all making a bit of an effort. So something I've been doing recently is even if I'm wearing legging, leggings or joggers in the day. I'm wearing a nice jumper. You know it's still comfy but I'm not you know just with an old tee on like I kind of went through a phase of wearing that um but earrings earrings are a massive thing that I'm loving I love big earrings but these in particular these because they are so light like I'm not going to wear my huge Alexandra-ish ones because even on a night out I'm pulling them off every now and again I just suffer it because they're so pretty um but these are actually like I can't even feel them and they just big earrings de distract from a tired face if I ever catch myself in the mirror I feel like I look quite nice and they look really amazing with the dupes that I have and the Isabel Moana dupes Ooh. how amazing is this dupe jumper you can get 15% off this as well but this looks so nice like it's just a nice casual knit nice earrings um, and this comes in beige and cream I'll link them all below they're nearly sold out actually. Um, this cream one looks so nice with the the white flower earrings. I love them. Okay, so um, another thing I got from Louise Aroma, I bought this on pre-order. I ordered this on pre-order, I don't even know, a couple months ago. And I know so many people don't like shopping on pre-order, but I absolutely love it. I love it because um, Louise Aroma will put their pre-order stuff on before everybody else gets it. Um, so I know that I'm not going to miss out on it. When this came in stock, I wanted this so badly and then it, it sold out everybody everywhere else as soon as it went online. So at least with this, I, I knew I was getting it. And it's just the most amazing surprise that you forget about it. Well, you don't fully forget, but then it comes. So personally, I love pre-orders. But this is um, a Jacquemus blazer. And someone asked me the best question the other day on, on Instagram, which I'm going to dedicate a whole video to because it was such a good styling question. Somebody asked me, Claire, how do I get an oversized blazer? Like, it looks stupid on me. What do I do? And this was one of the brands I spoke about, but I am going to do a whole video on it. So, oversized blazer, just in short, you can wear your dad's blazer, your boyfriend's blazer, literally your boyfriend's blazer. Um, buy one, three sizes too big and you get that oversized look. But sometimes when you are a bit more petite or it's too oversized for you to feel comfortable in, you need to buy something like this. And they do, they are normally with the expensive brands. It's just how it is. But this is literally called the Man Blazer, I think. Or the, the, I think it's called the Man Blazer. I can't remember, but it's definitely something to do with man. And it's an oversized blazer, but it fits on the shoulder and it fits, it's a short length in the arm. So it has that oversized look, but it comes to where it should on the arm. Whereas if it was just a blazer three sizes to up, the shoulder would be here, the sleeve would be down here, so it is an excellent blazer. It's a linen, which is associated with summer, but it's a thick, heavy linen. Um, and I actually wore this with a black knitted jumper, and I wore it around um, London. And today's another example. It's nearly the end of November, and it's like a crisp autumn day still, so you can fully get away with still wearing these. Um, I was walking around like that. I do it all the time. I forget to take the labels out. Paris did not tell me. I, I got in the car on the way home, took it off, and I was like, hello. So yeah, I do it all the time. But I got this um, from Newsroom Room, and there's a couple of sizes left. They also have the white one, and it is just a absolutely sensational blazer i'm definitely wearing it this time um like this time of year but how amazing for the spring it just looks sensational on now that's something else separate now a new brand i want to talk to you about they did gift me these um but it was just a nice gift you know it wasn't like they they didn't ask me to share in a video or anything but i'm going to because it's such an amazing brand this brand is called novo and it's a real go check out the website everything is just classic so anything you buy from that website is going to be a great cost per wear item it's a real like capsule collections um just classic everyday pieces so you might love something like these earrings or you know i'm trying to think so I have loads of crazy things 
Um, I like wearing classic pieces like this and then I'll pick one statement thing that's maybe not your cost per wear but it's sensational. So I like to mix my wardrobe with mainly timeless pieces like Novo and then I do really enjoy getting really statement vintage crazy pieces and all my pearl and crusted beaded pieces and I like to mix the two together but it's important for me that I have brands that are a good base and there's so many amazing brands like that and this is a new one that I've discovered so I'm a huge fan of leather trousers whenever I see a good pair I'm always buying them because I just wear them all the time they're just nice to they're just so handy to have for meetings, for events, for every day with a chunky knit or blazer. I just find them so comfy and just so amazing for every occasion. Now the reason why I love these are the, is that it has an amazing fastening. Like they're not just leggings. They have pockets and look at that detail on the bum. They're such a great pair of leather trousers. They're like leggings and trousers because they're kind of like they're super tapered all the way to the top like a pair of leggings are but then they have all the elements of a trouser so really really fantastic pair of leather leggings or leather trousers I normally share with you leather trousers that are the cheapest on the market I will link the two that I wear all the time I'm living in them for at least four years and I have two because they're just that I have two of the same ones just because they're that great. Now these are not the cheapest, but they're also nowhere near your standard leather trouser price. They're they're reasonable. The others are extortionately cheap for what they are, and that's why I'm always telling you about them. But these have a lot more intricate detail, that's for sure. There's a lot more work gone into them and they're still very reasonably priced, that's why I'm sharing them with you. Now I love a trench and I love a leather jacket and I love a leather trench. I have a yellow one, I have a white one, I have my stunning Saint Laurent one that I got a few years ago and everyone hated it and then trenches became like, leather trenches became a thing in not like November, this time last year, maybe February, actually no I'd say more this year. This is perfection, this leather trench, let me take off this Max Mara hanger. This leather trench is absolutely perfection, everything about it, the texture of the leather, how heavy it is, where the pockets are positioned. I'm a huge fan of um, buttons made out of the same fabric, whether it's knitwear, leather jacket, I love it, I love it because it looks um, tidy and you can wear something really busy here and it's not like if you have something with gold statement buttons like a Bauman blazer you need to stop at the jacket so I have so many Bauman leather jackets with huge Bauman statement buttons and then I have to keep whatever I'm wearing underneath is plain which for me is fine because I love a statement jacket but sometimes it's nice to have something that's a bit more discreet and then you can play around more with what you're wearing underneath so pay attention when you buy buttons uh, buy jackets because you really have to see what kind of person you are do you are you someone that wears a plain tee every day like me or a plain knitwear and you want all the va va boom in the jacket which i'm a huge fan of i love wearing a basic outfit throwing a zhuzhi jacket on and, and off i go um, but if you're someone that loves beautiful blouses, you love patterns and you love colour, then maybe stay away from the statement buttons and go for, for something like this, more discreet. So I hope that made sense. I love a bit of both, so you can definitely do both. But this is one of the most, if not the best leather trench I've ever come across. Everything about it, like the detail at the back. The length is perfect, I just love everything about this brand. And this is actually very reasonably priced. The quality, I'm telling you, the quality is there. It's so heavy. Um, and when I say like made well, I mean like the pattern cutting, there's a lot gone into this. They've really thought about the design, how the cuffs are, how the buttons are, how the collar is. Everything about it is perfect. They must have spent a long time perfecting this. And it's not like a copy of something else. It's not like a copy of a Burberry trench made leather. So I'm a huge fan. You're going to be seeing me wearing that so, so much. This is a jumper that they sent with it. Um, I have this in black and beige. And I actually did wear the whole outfit together, which normally I don't do. Normally I get sent something and I wear it with other brands for how I like. But I actually really did love it all together. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of roll necks just because 
I don't like tight things, like I don't like anything fitted or tight, it just makes me feel hot and claustrophobic. But this is quite a loose one and the fabric is nice so it works well. And just this small detail here, I really love it. So I won't go on too much about that, but it's just, if you love classic timeless pieces, good quality, definitely check out Novu because it's just a very classic timeless brand. And the leather pieces are absolutely amazing. I've just seen this on the side that I want to talk to you about. This is a new uh, vintage Chanel clip. So I don't know how long you've been following me for. Some of you will remember, some of you won't be following me this long. But I had, I'll put up a picture here. I found a gold Chanel clip just like this a few years ago. I linked where I bought it from and I get that it's business but this is just so greedy of people. It really does annoy me. They, and there was one vintage piece that I have. I paid £60 for it. I then bought another one because Tallulah ruined it. It's the only naughty thing she's done her whole entire life. And I bought another one and she found me another one because it was vintage and she upped it by £50 which I just thought rude but okay I'll buy it didn't say anything then I kept linking to this website and she used to sell hundreds of different things now she only sources this one thing and I'm telling you I bought it for £60 she now every time I link it I'm having a rant here because I just think it's so greedy of the person and I'm not even going to mention or link her because I don't want to give her any traffic or sales because I just think it's such a greedy thing to do and I do get the whole business aspect but at the end of the day it's a bit too greedy for my liking and she puts it up every time the stock sells out for something that I bought for £60 she now sells, I am not joking you, around £1,200. The last time I checked, it was £1,200. And each time she sells that one, it will then go up to like £1,500. And it's just awful. And one of my followers said, I finally found that thing that you've had that I've been looking for for so long. I'm so happy I found it. The poor girl paid £900 for it. I felt awful. And that's why I don't want to link them anymore. But anyway, I've got this from Luxury Promise. Um... And that gold clip is now, I, oh yeah, sorry, I diverted. I paid around 120, I linked it. They obviously cottoned on and sold them all and put a load more up for more. And they've been going up and up and up and it's around 600 pound now, which I would not pay for a clip. Um, but please know that Luxury Promise is one of the things that I love about them. They're not greedy with their prices. And if she sells all of these stock out and then sources some more, they will be the same price because that's just the kind of company they are. So I got that from Luxury Promise. There's one more left in stock. And she did tell me that they're very hard to source and I know that they are. So I'm not sure. Put your name down by all means, but I'm not sure that they'll find any more of those. Um, oh, I bought myself a new dressing gown the other day. I look like a snowman in it. It makes me look about 10 stone heavier, but I don't care because it's so fluffy. Also treated myself to some new slippers and I also bought them in beige. I went for a medium thinking, oh, medium's like the average size. I'm a size six, it will fit me. And actually on the sole, it says a five to six and I'm a six, six and a half. So I should have gone with large. Um, and the description of the sizing really wasn't good, so maybe that will help you if you're going to order a pair. So yeah, I just thought I'd treat myself to a new dressing gown. I did like a little spa day, and sometimes Honoré gets a bit clingy with me, so I sat him with me in his dressing gown, and he fell asleep on me, and I just had like really calming music. I had my Panasonic steamer, which I am just the biggest fan of this steamer. Um, I will put... If you wait to the very end, I'm going to do the show you the spa video that I made, or just go to my actually just go to my Instagram and check it out. Um, but we had such a cute little hour. The Panasonic steamer. I don't have to talk to you about this. Uh, I just, but I just want to. I've been using it for about three years, and it is the best thing ever for unblocking pores. I sit with it for like ten minutes, once or twice a week, and it just keeps my pores really clean. And I being religious with it, especially in lockdown, because I used to go to the gym steamer, um, not whilst I was pregnant, of course, and of course, even when the gyms were opened, I didn't go back. Uh, but seeing as I'm not going to the gym steam room, this has been my, one of my beauty, like, must-haves. So I'm going to link my steamer below. It's such a reasonable price, honestly. When I say reasonable, it's really affordable. Um, and it's also on a on a slight discount at the moment. I'm not sure if that's a Black Friday thing and just for this week, so definitely check it out. Um, but full price, I think, is pretty reasonable, and it's an amazing at-home beauty essential. So 
yeah, I basically bought that because I wanted to have some like little spa time at home and the video ended up being so, so cute with Ole. Okay, so now I'm going to show the kitchen plans. Before I go, I just want to tell you about my Louise Villaroma landing page curated edit that I've made. So I basically put an edit together for all of my favourite things on Louise Villaroma. Half of it are pieces that I've already, already owned, so it's going to be everything all in one place that I have. So instead of watching all my little hauls, it's kind of everything called in one place. Um, and also lots of my pieces that are on a wish list and things that I already have in my cart. So it's kind of just everything all in one place and everything that I've created from Louise Villaroma. So I'll leave that link below and you can check out everything that I have in my wardrobe or some pieces that I really want to have. Um, there's some pieces like a pair of shoes that I have that I absolutely love. And then I've put some other colours that I love. There's this in another colour. So it's basically just all the things that I wish I could have right now plus a few bits I already own. So I'll leave that in the link below. It should help you with some shopping inspiration or just if you want to just see all of my bits all in one place. So um, yeah, I just wanted to explain that before I take you downstairs. Okay, so these are the kitchen plans, but it's not our final design. We have um, gone with a company, Tom Howley. We, my goodness, we, I don't know, I can't even tell you how many companies we got through. Every company in England we contacted and it was a long slog and Tom Howley were one of the first ones that we found and we went for about maybe 40 others and we came back to Tom Howley for so many reasons. Um, I'll talk to you about it in a second. So we are going to be getting rid of our Arga. We're 90% sure. We do love the Arga but this is just more practical, a cooker like this. Um, and it does make me nervous about how hot the Arga is on the outside with the baby. I know that you can get the thing to turn it down, but we, we've just made a family decision that we're probably going to get one of these. So this is a design. Now, Tom Howley were one of the very, very few brands. They were actually the only brand for us that made us plan without paying any money, which is actually such a huge thing because you're spending so much money. Like, we're obviously paying for this. And you kind of have to commit to something without even seeing a plan or someone to make you a plan but charge 350 to 500 pounds which is kind of like and they sell it to you that you're going to get the money back if you go ahead with the kitchen but that's all well and good if you go for the kitchen but you can't be paying all different companies 500 pounds and then you only go with one you know so that was a huge plus and we just fell in love we had the most amazing designer paul um so if you do want to um book an appointment with Tom Howley, I thoroughly recommend Paul, like, just his personality is amazing, he come up with so many good ideas for us, which I'll talk about in a second, so that's where our Arga is, and then this is the other side, we're actually going to change our fridge to one that doesn't have the icing here, it's going to be all boxed in, behind this is something amazing, and behind this is something even more amazing, and then this, by the way, is our existing kitchen, and then it will go over to the extension, which I'm going to keep a surprise because that is the most sensational part. Not as a surprise, but I'm not going to let it all go in this video. So we're changing our area because where the sink is now is now going to be opened up into the extension, and this is now on the other area. And the way that Paul's designed this, I mean, I'm so excited. This is a pull-out bin. Do you know how excited I am? This is something amazing. It's like a drawer that pull it doesn't pull out like a normal drawer it kind of bends back and you keep all your sponges in there they just had so many amazing ideas and every time I said oh I don't want that here I want this here and I want this Paul would challenge me on everything and say no Claire with the design aspect of this practicality I loved it that he challenged me on everything and persuaded me which is quite a hard thing to do with me um so I loved it that they didn't just say oh yes we can do that yep yeah, we can do that which was great, we went to one company. Maybe I should turn you around, let me turn you around. Let's put you back on here so that you're not just looking at a bit of paper. So we literally had about 10 of these sheets with everything. So this is the, um, I was talking about something else. Oh yeah, we went to one brand and it's all amazing that they said, yeah, we can do that, we can do that. So we went to Tom Howley, we got a design, went to another company that we also did like at the time and Basically, they said yes to everything I wanted, but then when I spoke to Paul at Tom Howley, he flagged so much of the design, how it was not practical. He made other suggestions, and then when I said, okay, but I want this, he'd say, okay, but bear in mind this. 
and I just feel so much more comfortable going with a brand that I'm spending so much money with and I know that every decision and every part of the layout has been thought out and I've got the skill and knowledge and experience from someone that is a kitchen designer as opposed to someone that just says yes to everything so that for me was really important because it is such a big decision buying a kitchen uh, so this is the what they call the shaker design um, and I'm not going to use the word basic because it's uh, actually very timeless and very tidy and I just think it's slightly more modern and I do like that really traditional vibe. I love modern, I love pretty, I love all of them but even with interior design as a whole I love all the modern but just for my house and this house in particular I love the country vibe. So we went with another design which I will show you in the next vlog when we get all the colour samples um, and then I will reveal to you the colour because now we've agreed and paid the deposit, they now, he's changed all the design elements. I want your opinion on something as well. Um, he's changed all the design elements, we've changed the handles, we don't have these handles, um, and then it all comes in colour, so I'll show you that when it comes. Put below in the comments what colour you think I've gone for. Um, now, we have a glass cabinet downstairs, and I love a glass cabinet, especially because I have all my Hermes crockery and my Disney collection, I know, so me, Hermes, and then Disney, I know. See these here? Do we keep those as a glass cabinet? See the side of the cooker? Should we keep them as glass display? And I thought I could have my Hermes crockery, or maybe all my Disney teapots and everything, or, you know, maybe I'll go a bit more chic and just have all beautiful white crockery. Um, that that's irrelevant I can change it but do I go with some glass cabinetry to break it up or shall I go with the clothes let me know in the comments I really would appreciate your feedback because I do have glass cabinets at the moment and I feel like a bit under pressure to keep it all neat and sometimes I go towards what well, I do I go towards what aesthetically is pleasing when actually I could really do with jam packing it for storage so please do let me know I would love your opinion um, we have a warming drawer in our Arga and I love it and someone on Instagram said to me Claire make sure you get a warming drawer because it's the best thing and I was like yeah I have a warming drawer and then I thought about it and thought oh it's in the Arga and it's not a proper warming drawer either it's not it's not really just for that so thank you to one of my followers thanks to her I got a warming drawer so I'd love any of your feedback what is an essential for a kitchen one thing I really do want is an ice machine that is actually a cabinet they're very expensive and Paul said he made a really good point of saying you don't have that many cabinets and it's going to take away a whole cabinet so think about it so I you know he could make a lot more money out of me by picking something really expensive but he's actually telling me to go for the more basic things so I really love that about um about Paul and Tom Howley. Um, so yeah, you get the get you get the gist of what the design is. When we next get our drawings in a week, I think it's a week. I'm going to show you the final design, the colour that we've gone for. We're going to get all the samples sent through, all the worktops. I'm not going for marble because we have a lot of marble around the house. I have my mar marble dining room table, and I don't want the stress of a marble worktop, especially when you live with Paris because he's the most clumsy person. So that's our kitchen. We really have put so much thought into this. Literally, it's taken over our lives. Going to showrooms, looking on, on Instagram. We found some really amazing um, companies, but we loved how Tom Howley was. It had that little bit extra something to the design. Like when you look closely at all the wood panelling and the intricate pillars and the doorknobs the worktops that they have, they just had everything there, the colours that I loved, sometimes the brands would say, oh yeah, we do any colour, go pick the colour at that Farron and Ball, the Farron and Ball, but then that actually made me so nervous, because whereas I wanted to walk into a showroom and see the whole kitchen, and I also wanted like a bespoke colour as well, and I just love it that they had their own colours, so yeah, they've just got everything that we love. All the quality is amazing, all the like colours as you pull out the drawers, we're just really happy with our choice. So if anyone does want any help um, with their kitchen, I feel like I'm a bit of an expert at the moment, so let me know. If you are considering Tom Howley, I'm more than happy to share all the tips that I learned along the way while we're why are we going with Tom Howley. Um, and I did ask them, I said, look, I'm gonna be talking about my, my kitchen. 
Um, so I did talk to them about that whole side of things and I have said to them about offering an incentive to, to my followers and they, they are really up for doing that. So definitely mention my name if you're going to book a Tom Howley um, consultation or kitchen because they're going to give something, an incentive to my followers, like something fun. I don't know what it is yet but I'll keep you posted. Um, Yes, I think that's that. Should we go downstairs and look at all the Timothy Olfen bits? I haven't even looked at it myself properly. Some of it we can't show you because it's still in the box. But I've got enough to show you for it to be interesting. Okay, so I've decided... I am... He's playing with the baby. I've had lunch, had vomit all down me. There's a lot gone on since you've last seen me. Um, yeah, I can't stand... I'm just going to say it, I cannot stand clickbait, I cannot stand it, I cannot stand it and like I said earlier, business is business, um, we all know that when you do clickbait you get triple your normal views, which means more money, which means, you know, money, money, money and I get it and you know, when I've got something exciting to tell you, I'll, I'll say, I'll say something that's exciting. Um, but my point is, is that I don't want to like make out that I'm revealing my kitchen and I'm not. And I feel like I, might, I can only show you as much as I have. But the samples have just come through. And I just want to talk you through more of the kitchen so that you think I'm not teasing you. Because I can't bear the thought of that. So, how it's going to be at the moment. You see how our fridge is not boxed in. We always knew we were going to change the kitchen. So we never went to the effort of boxing in a fridge or anything. Um... And uh, yeah, that's where I was listening to the orders out there. So this is what our cabinet looks like. You know, I was asking for your opinion. What do you think? Uh, my gut feeling is to go with clothes. I'm gonna open up the blinds because it's not very good lighting here. But I think to go with clothes, just because it's more tidy. I've lost all heart in this kitchen now. Like this whole surface is full of paint samples, deliveries. It's just out of control. Um, so here are the samples that I'm going to show you. My Mars bars, I'm literally addicted to them, they're ice cream Mars bars. Now, this one is the one that I was going to choose, but because um, colours, I'm going to do a better sample in the light, but because I'm going for a white kitchen by the way, ta-da, that's a big enough reveal in itself. Um, when you have a paint sample, it's imperative that you paint the wall for a sample that you're actually going to have the paint in the room because depending on the light, whether you're north facing, west facing, um, different furnishes, it could look completely different in different people's homes. So I didn't want to commit to a kitchen. And anyway, Tom Howley sends you the samples that you want so you can hold it up in your room. Now I was dead set on this one. Uh, this is called Sorrel and it looked sensational in the the showroom like absolutely perfection and I just thought let me get another white just to be sure and actually this one which is called Orchid actually I think suits this room better so this is the one that I was going for this is the one that I think I'm going to go for and I would love your opinion so I just want to do it from far so that you can you can see but this is like a creamy off-white and this is quite a cold white what do you think so, what way is it for you? Sorrel, Orchid. Please let me know what you think. I think both are really great. But one is slightly creamy and like ever so slightly pink undertone. So that's the colour of the kitchen we're getting. We're getting a white kitchen. Um, they have the most amazing beige tones. There's about four beige tones that I absolutely love. And we will be getting an island unit. And I was thinking about having um, the beige colour in the island units so that I could have two of my favourite colours. But I think I'll get bored of that. So do let me know. I can't show you the worktops because we don't have that the worktops through yet. But I just want to run you through the kitchen plan so that you don't think I've teased you. So all along here... Right now we have a cooker, a microwave and just um, drawers. I will do a home room, room reveal when we get the new kitchen so you will see the full thing aspect. 
Uh, we have black quartz along here. This is going to be the wet area, which I really love. I love that all the mess is going to be up this end. I love the thought of looking out that window in particular for when I'm doing all the cleaning. We can have the bin there. It's going to be all very practical. All the window sills are going to be quartz and everything. Here we would have the new cooker, all storage. Um, there's three different types of um, styles that they do at Tom Howley. I love them all. It took, me, um, it took me a long time to be sure that it was the style that I wanted, but what I have picked, that's one thing I'm going to hold off. What I have picked is what I've dreamt of in my head and they do it the best. They do this style the best. So this pretty much looks the same as it is, the Arga size, which you always, always normally see in my stories. I've just had a huge pasta lunch, so I'm very bloated. This will all be opened up into the extension, and that end is definitely going to be a surprise. This area I'm most excited about, this is going to be the new fridge, which is going to be boxed in. This is going to be a really amazing design feature where you can have everything hidden away, like your... I don't know, your ster bottle sterilizers, movie makers, tea area, because the tea area is a bit of a mess, isn't it? So everything, all the tea bits are going to be here, and then here is going to be the, pan the pantry. And for me, Tom Howley does the best pantries out of every single kitchen company. For me, there's no comparison. They look so luxurious. And I don't even mean that from a snooty aspect because there was other companies that were a lot more expensive and they weren't as nice and we've had some really amazing personal features. So in their showrooms, they have it engraved to so say cakes, treats, bread, pasta, which I am going to do, but they're going to engrave two of the drawers with Honoré's name on it, which for me is just such a personal touch. And if we ever move, I can take that drawer with me and I'll, I would always replace it with a, a plain drawer or something if we moved. Um, so like they allowed me to do loads of personal things, which I really love. So that's the gist of the design. Please do let me know what color you think I should go for, sorrel or orchid. I'm not sure if you can see the difference. Whilst I'm here, you know, I said I bought Honoré some bits. Um, they're just drying on the dryer really, but how cute is that? It's a brand that I love. I buy him so much from this brand. I've never worked for them before, but they're, they're one of my favorite brands ever, especially for boys. If I have a girl, I think I would love all this kind of color for a girl as well, but how cute is that? It's like a little sailor romper. And this is just the cutest thing. It's like a bodysuit onesie, such a baby kind of outfit with um, the little hood. And I also bought some gorgeous booties as well for him. I'll link that brand below in the description box. It's such a great brand. Um, yeah, so I was just paranoid that you thought I was teasing you with the kitchen, but I think I've told you a lot. I've told you the brand, so you can see the style. Um, love all their styles. It just depends if you want more clean looking, more country vibes, more modern vibes. It all depends. Um, told you the colour, told you the layout, so I think that's enough for now. Let's go and show you the Timothy Alton bits.